Oh, Divine Masculine. So this is going to be a reading for March the 2nd until the 9th for the Divine Masculine. So um, I'm going to be doing it slightly different this time. I'm going to be using the John Holland deck, Psychic Tarot, for the main spread. I'll be doing a Celtic wing with the male-female energies. And for, the me for those energies, I'll be using... Um, um, our, uh, what is it, Archangel Tarot? The Archangel Power Tarot Cards by Dorian Virtue. And the John Holland for the, the main reading. Um, I will also be pulling two messages from the universe uh, using Call It Bear and Read and my cards for clarification. Okay, what messages do you have for the Divine Masculine from March the 2nd until the 9th? Okay, present position. Recognition and reward. The Three of Pentacles. He is illuminated. You are illuminated. You are feeling successful. Um, you've done a lot of work to create a solid foundation in the 3D world and you're starting to feel, see the fruits of your labor. But I like how the light is shining down on him, on you. Um, you're being illuminated, rewarded. You're, it's your time to shine. So I'm going to pull a clarification card for that. Oh, let me just... Give this a quick shuffle here. But that was a sun card that popped out. <laughs> oh my god, the sun card again. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so he's... You're standing in your power. You are in your full masculine form. Uh, the sun represents the masculine energy. So it is, uh, in the twin flame reading, you were on fire. Your side of the reading, you were like uh, on fire. You are feeling optimistic, happy. This is the best major arcana to get. Uh, you're optimistic about the future. You are standing in the spotlight. Um, this could represent illumination, uh, enlightenment, um, feeling like an innocent child, free. Okay, that's present position. That's amazing. Beautiful. Okay, so the foundation. Nice. Oh my God, the sun card again. Wow. Uh... Awesome. Let me read that for you. Number 19, the sun. This card measures you. Oh, sorry. This card reassures you that it is your time to be in the light. No matter what's happening around you, prosperity and bliss are promised. The qualities of this brilliant card are pleasure, happiness, contentment, growth, success, joy, and illumination. The light always brings forth new birth, a constant renewal of life. This is one of the best, if not the best, major arcana uh, positive card. And it's yours. This is now your moment to shine. The, the radiance from within will be there for all to see as people become attracted to your rays of spiritual light. And by being compassionate, generous, inspiring, and a leader, many will benefit as they feel the warmth emanating from you. Be discerning, but also be open to whatever whomever you're attracting, for your rays reach far and wide. The light card reminds you that because of its power, nothing remains in the dark. Through its illumination, truths and certain paths before you begin to emerge and can be surely seen. Using the energy of positive thought and continually, continually thinking about the happiest and most joyful moments will light the path before you even more brightly and attract exactly what you're emanating. Keep on shining. Wow. I almost want to end the reading here. This is like perfect. He's stepping onto the podium. 
and he's got the sun card on either side of him. It is his grounding energy, his foundation. He's standing on his spiritual strength, this power. It's this blaze. He's a phoenix rising. And then also the sun is blaring down on him. He's reaching for the stars. Wow. I. Wow. Please check out the twin flame re reading that I just did. It is. It confirms exactly what's going on with the male aspect. Okay. So recent past. Emotional loss. Five of cups. Uh, healing your heart. Um, feeling. You know, uh, a great sense of pain and loss in, in in the recent past. So let me pull a card for that. Ten of Swords. Uh, you got this in your future position for the Twin Flame reading. So it's cutting away that negativity. Cutting away um, the feeling like you've been stabbed in the back and left for dead. Um, finally ready to move on. Ten is a completion. So you're opening your heart chakra. You've healed your heart. You're letting go of those negative emotions and attachments. Okay, so for the outcome you desire and likely to get. Nice. Awesome. The heart chakra. Yeah, baby. That's what I said. You're healing your heart. You're ready to let go. Move on. Oh, I could just hug you guys. You are feeling unconditional love. You are feeling true love. You want to experience true love. You want to know what it feels like to be loved, be held, be wanted. Just for the hell of it, I'm going to pull a card for that. Seven of Cups. You got this in as an overall energy in the Twin Flame reading. So... Um, Dorothy and, what, and um, the Wizard of Oz so finding your yellow brick road there's still this sense that is this real? is this connection with my heart real? is it an illusion? Uh, the Seven of Cups also talks about needing to make a decision about moving forward with this love Okay, so crossroads position near future. Nice. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. The masculine got this in his resisting position for the twin flame reading. This is the lover's card, twin flame. Beautiful. So, I'm going to read this to you from the Tarot Illuminati. Okay, yearning for reunion. Every man and every woman is a star. We and the universe are all made up of the same stuff. When we are created, we contain a spark of the divine, a star within our bodies that are a direct reflection of every other star contained within every other person and being upon the earth. We join in groups to create patterns in the sky. We move about in the heavens and have orbits. And some of us collide and others unite in beautiful, beautiful constellations. But we are all star children, siblings under the same canopy of heaven. And we all seek reunion with our origin. The stars within us speak to their source. We yearn to return to it. The journey is long, but we find in another person a star that is closest to that which we yearn for. We see in them the source of light, and they see it in us. Yes, we do. The source of light. Look at this. Oh. <sighs> we join with them in yearning and desire and passion, and through them we are completed. This is love, the joining of two stars contained in the bodies of human beings, expressed in the bridging of the gap between them. Yet do not curse the gap, lover. Do not bemoan the space that you must traverse to achieve re reunion for it is only by virtue of this gap that you might feel yearning and love at all the bridging of the gap the uniting of two stars so 
so don't bemoan the gap. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card for clarification for this six, please. Um, three of Swords. The masculine got this at, in his fear position. Uh, being afraid to open your heart because you're afraid that it's going to be broken. But this is this, the Twin Flame Union card. It is seeing yourself in another. Uh, it is your twin, your reflection, but there's still that sense of fear, not really knowing if this is true. Is it real? Okay, so what is he resisting? The Nine of Pentacles, material harvest. So this is... Um, um, Ripeness, it is the fruit finally being ready to drop from the tree. So it's working very hard at something in the material world and finally seeing the fruits of your labor, enjoying uh, those fruits. It's time of relaxation, rest, harmony, peace. So he's resisting that. And why is he resisting that? The Knight of Pentacles. So, um, the ma you, the masculine, you also got this in as a energy for an outcome. It is finally making it to that destination that you've you planned something in in the past. You made a plan and you put that plan in motion. It has to do with the three D world. Uh, and the knight is a very calculated um, knight. He moves forward on this tightrope, and his steps are measured, very calculated, but he's mo always moving forward. So there's a sense that um, he's almost arriving at that final destination. When this card shows up, it means that the wait is almost over. Uh, so there will be this abundance coming towards him, this material harvest. So he's resisting that. You are resisting that. Because you're afraid of having your heart broken. You're not trusting your heart. You've, ha you've been hurt before in the past. And now you're guarded. But let go of those feelings. Let go of that negative energy and step into the light. Okay, so what is your internal environment? Transformation. Metamorphosis. It is um, the butterfly emerging from the cocoon. It is letting go of those old identities, old skins. It's um, a rebirth. It's getting rid of the old to make room for the new. So I'm going to pull a card for that. Seven of Pentacles, pregnant pause, waiting for that return to come. So uh, there's a sense that you're going through transformation. Um, and You know, it's taken a long time for that transformation to occur. And while this transformation was taking place, you reevaluated your past. You saw the reality behind it, behind this illusion. These are all falsehoods. They're attachments, they're beliefs, they're um, constructed ideas of self. And while you went through that transformation or going through that transformation, you are seeing the truth. But this card also talks about this transformation is almost over. The wait is almost through. Harvest is near. The tide is turning.
Okay, so for your external environment, nice, power, strength, uh, you got this in the divine, uh, the twin flame reading as an, ex an uh, energy that's surrounding you. And, it, and you got it, again, in an external environment. So there's this strength uh, that's coming from the feminine that is empowering you. Um, the strength card is about taming the beast within. It's, it's finding, you know, courage and strength in order to uh, deal with situations ahead of you. So she is beside you. She's encouraging you to move forward to take that step, that final step. So I'm going to pull a, a clarification for that. Ten of Pentacles. You got this in your love and relationship position. So she provides this, this vision of completion. The ten is you know, uh, the end of that cycle, it's arrival, it's the end. So the Ten of Pentacles talks about um, being at that final resting place. You don't have to work anymore. There's nothing more for you to do except to enjoy your family and love, being surrounded by family, not, not needing materialistic things anymore. So yeah, she's there's this strength behind this vision. Okay, so the outcome for this side of the reading. Nay, solar plexus chakra, finding your power, stepping into your power, um, the phoenix rising, emerging from the cocoon after a long wait. Um, finally having that strength to take that final step towards prosperity, towards abundance. One more card for that. Nice! Bam! Yeah! Divine Masculine. I made this card for the Divine Masculine Twin Flame. You are empowered. You are emerging from the cocoon. Wow. I can't say much more about that. That is amazing. Okay, so the summary outcome. Heartache and loss. That three of swords is on either side of this union. It is the foundation outcome. It is like the summary of the entire reading is this fear of having your heart broken. And that's what the union is, is standing on. Okay, so yeah, that fear of having your heart broken is such a strong energy. Okay, what additional messages do you have? The Queen of Cups. She is your emotional rock. She will not hurt you. She does not want to hurt you. She wants to love you. She She's a queen of love. She wants to hold you and embrace you and fill your cup with love. She does not want to hurt you. That's the last thing she wants to do. Okay, for a final outcome. Nice. The Ace of Swords cutting the barriers away. I'm done with the negative. Look at, he's slicing through the darkness. It's clarity of thought. It's a decision to move forward. It is the, it's standing in your truth, speaking your truth. Okay, one more card for that. Nice. The King of Swords could be an air sign. This is, but it's the ultimate um, expression of communication of truth. 
clarity of thought. Um, the masculine got this for the crowning energy. Ace, triumphant success. So victory. Okay, I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck. Obstacles and challenges. The masculine got this three times in his reading. So this is the fourth time that this card is showing. But it's not a big obstacle to overcome. It's all how you envision it. It's all your, about your perception. It's just a small step over this void, this small obstacle. But this card also talks about, you know, Finding a way to make your light shine. Stepping onto that podium. But there's, uh, you need to believe that you are the sun. You got it twice. So I'm going to pull a clarification card for that. Death, transformation, metamorphosis. So um, you're going through a change. Presently, internally, you are going through a change which is causing this pregnant pause. You're shedding old identities and it's, an, you know, it's a small obstacle to overcome, but ultimately it will result in your victory and you stepping into your power, your divinity, your true purpose. And, you know, healing your heart, believing that this is a real true love connection. Okay, so now I am going to pull the side energies using Dorian Virtue. Okay, so the feminine external environment. Eight of Raphael, there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. So... This, this is her external environment. So this energy would be coming from the masculine. He's finally ready to move on from this emotional bondage. This um, negative emotions. And move towards the light. It is the light at the end of the tunnel. It is a pilgrimage to find yourself. To heal yourself. It's a pause. It's a withdrawal. But it is a good pause. It's finally being able to move towards the light. So I'm going to pull a clarification card for that. Nine of Wands, exhaustion, the wounded warrior. You're, you're tired. You've been knocked down so many times that you just can't do it anymore, which makes complete sense. That's why you're walking away from this negative negativity. He's walking towards the sun, towards the light. Okay, so for the masculine external, the page of pentacles. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you, scholarships or pursuits of education, time to get to work. So the um, page of pentacles talks about planning something for the future, um, putting a lot of work into something, uh, having an, a grand idea and wanting to manifest that into the 3D world. So this would be the feminine energy because it's his external environment. So I'm going to pull another card. Communication, the Eight of Wands. It has to do with communication. The page is a messenger as well. One more card. Eight of Cups again. That's that energy right there. So that's moving towards the light. It is um, finally ready to put the past behind you. But this Eight of Wands is having a higher perspective a it's shooting for the stars it's good news um but there's that definitely that feel of needing to communicate the masculine got this card in his how he views a relationship so yeah there's two eights here as well which is infinity it's a cycle a continual um cycle what goes around comes around. But there's a sense that there's that's ending. Okay, so for the feminine's internal, the Knight of Ariel. That's this card here. So she feels like she's arrived after this 
long, arduous journey. Um, there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. So this trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. It's you are, you have this solid energy, this grounding energy. And, you know, it's like I said, it's that strong, sure step one after the other. So I'm going to pull a card for that. Nice. The nine of pentacles again. So that comes up. Oh my God. These are the exact same cards. Nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles, king or knight of uh, pentacles and knight of pentacles. So um, this is your internal environment. So th it's, it's that arrival of the night. Finally, it's harvest, it's completion, you know, but it, that's what he's resisting. It, but you're, it's showing up in your internal environment. So, yeah, it's the arrival of the night. It's abundance. It's harvest. You feel um, ripe um, and nearing completion. Okay, so for the, your internal environment, masculine, the queen of Ariel, mature, practical, generous, happy, uh, nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. So this is what you got in your resisting position for the Twin Flame reading. You want to materialize the queen. You want to be able to reach out and touch her, to hold her, to kiss her, to caress her, to love her. Three of Pentacles. Same card here, illumination, working towards that, um, feeling victorious, laying that foundation in the 3D world. One more card. Two of Swords. Um, something stopping you from moving forward. Uh, you feel trapped by a decision that needs to be made. And that is probably why there's that reflection up here, this uh, confusion, questioning. Um, yeah, there's something needs to come to nice. Something needs to come to an end. And right below that is the four of wands, the calling card, twin flame connection. So once you move past this small obstacle, go through that transformation, complete that transformation. The four, uh, the twin flame connection is just on the other side of that. So. Um, internally, you want this 3D manifestation. You're working towards it, but there's still that sense of conflict, cognitive dissonance, not really making that final decision to move forward. So the feminine's hopes and fears, epiphany, the, not the hermit card, uh, joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others answer that comes through meditation so this is reflected in her energy that she got in the twin flame reading she is that light beacon that uh, holding that spiritual kn knowledge knowing I'm a card for that eight of Pentacles um, putting a lot of work and effort into something and wanting to see the fruits of your labor. Nice. The high priest. Spiritual um, spiritual body of the divine masculine. Uh, being connected through source. So there's a hope that he will come out of this hermitism as a spiritual leader. Um... Yeah, that's what I'm getting from that. Okay, for what you hope and fear, masculine, ace of Michaels. It's that same card right here. That's what you got as a final outcome, and this is what you hope or fear. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. So you hope to have clarity of thoughts decision 
Um, the Queen of Swords. Here's the King. You want to clear up communication with the Queen. Have open, honest communication. Cut through the bullshit. She sees the truth. You can't lie to her. So you hope to communicate with the Queen. One more card. <laughs> the Queen of Wands. Well, that kind of threw me for a loop. Um, so this is the object of his desire. He wants to communicate how passionately, how, how much passion he feels for her. She is, like I said, the object of his desire, his, um, the fuel of his fire. So communicating. So the queen of air and then the queen of fire. And the queen of pentacles below it. So he's really seeing you as this queen. You got the queen of cups down here too. So all four queens have showed up in the reading. And so far, just the king of air. But also the divine masculine. Okay, so what is the final outcome for the feminine? Six of Ariel. Um, that it, you got that as a final outcome for the twin flame reading. It's a material manifestation. Material needs get fulfilled in a magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving and receiving with a grateful heart. So it's being open to receive, being that receptacle of light. Um, being that channel for divinity. Uh, being grateful for all that you've been given, but also give, you know, give love. Five of Wands, that repeated energy of an obstacle that needs to overcome, and justice. So what comes around goes around. Um, not engaging in no I guess you know j just having that positive thought process that you will be victorious ultimately one more card nice the fool's card so overcoming an obstacle or challenge staying open um, karma coming back to you being balanced and that new beginning, the beginning of a fool's journey. Step into the unknown. Be an open vessel. Stand in your truth. Okay, so the masculine final outcome. Nice! Bam, baby! Four of Wands again. Time for a celebration. Abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. Four of Wands. 11-11 connection. I'm not going to pull any more cards for that. That's awesome. Okay, so message from the universe, please. Feminine. Goblins. Masculine. One ring circus. So I'll read the feminine first, and that kind of speaks about this outcome. This, there, you know, there's still that some thoughts roaming around in your head. So goblins, fear is an illusion. Choose love today. Forgive yourself and others. Goblins are born when we're wounded, and something essential is lost in that experience. From that point on, as you forget your wholeness, they remain with you in the shadows. There they remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your voice, tricking you into believing that you're unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. They hold you hostage through low self-worth and self-sabotage and the feeling that you're lacking what you need. If a goblin, goblin pays you a visit, know that they represent the shadow of your own self, of someone else's, and that they're leading you into a potentially reactive situation. A goblin's card appearance is an opportunity for growth. However, 
and a signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. The goblin's message is that you must release resentment and negative self-talk. Within you is a spark of the divine. Ask your spirit to help you heal. Miracles can and do happen. Let go of negativity. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not really feeling that you're negative at all, but I do feel like there's that self, some doubt that this obstacle will be, will be overcome. So spirit is asking you to release that. Okay, so 15... One Ring Circus. You are capable, capable and competent. Independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision or re resources you need. Recognize that all wisdom you've acquired along the way makes you particularly competent and capable of moving forward with assurance. Self-reliance is important. Another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another. Be discerning about your partnerships at this time. When you know who you are and have a healthy sense of where you end and another begins, you are able to enter into the best kind of relationship and will attract people who mirror back your wholeness. Yes, mirror back your wholeness. Um, interdependent relationships are always mutually supportive, stimulating, and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. Yes, you can. You can achieve anything at this time. Ha ha, nice. Nice. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's awesome. The Ace of Wands. Passion ignited. And spiritual strength. He got that in his uh, union energy. So find the strength for that one final last push past this tiny little obstacle that leads to your ultimate happiness. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Much love to you. Peace.